together because sometimes we make each other more emotional than what it needs to be. Um, so we're not going to do that. I think last year we introduced something called My Word. Um, and it, for those of you that are new to the banquet, um, the My Word is something that we instilled in our program that every single person gets to choose a word and they bring that word. That's what they bring every single day to practice. Um, so Corey's my word was work, and I think it was incredibly um, appropriate because you worked your ass off, both in the classroom and in the gym and in yourself. You worked so hard. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have her tell you what work means to her, and then I'm gonna turn it over to her senior stroll. So what does work mean to you? Why was it your work? Thank you, Lisa, for the introduction. <laughs> um, I think that work changed for me when it was drive, and I changed it to work because I knew that I needed to take care of myself before I had to take care of anybody else. And I knew that I needed to really work on myself before I could try to drive our team anywhere before I was taken care of. So I think that work kind of meant that I needed to start with my basics and develop my fundamentals of who I was and become a better person before I could produce anything positive for our team. So work was kind of what that meant for me throughout the whole session of community. Okay. Corey, senior strong. You know, it's been an awesome experience having Corey in our program. Uh, she's somebody who just makes such a, an impact as a player, you know, because she's so physical and she's so dominant. And you're gonna know from the minute you meet her what she thinks about you, what she thinks about the situation, and I really like that. Corey joins us now at one of the most iconic places on campus, the Diag, as we take our senior stroll. So, senior year, how surreal is it knowing your career is coming to an end? I mean, it's definitely bittersweet, but I'm happy to be at the stage that I'm at five years from my freshman year. So, some folks may not know, you were a first-team All-State high school basketball player. What went into your decision to focus on volleyball versus hoops? Well, I started volleyball really late. I was only a junior in high school, but it was so much fun. I mean, I love basketball, and it will always be in my heart, but... It was just so easy to just go out on the Bible court and have a ton of fun. 2017, you went overseas with the USA Collegiate National Team. What was that experience like? The craziest part of thing to me was the ball is totally different. I mean, it's kind of like a dodgeball, so when you bounce it off the floor, it pops, and I kind of miss it. <laughs> In the fall, it's so beautiful on campus with the leaves falling. What does it stir up inside of you? It just brings me back to going home, having hot apple cider and donuts, and going to the cider mill and just dodgy bees all over the place, but it's absolutely gorgeous and I love this part of Michigan. Tell me about playing at Chrysler when the crowd is just nuts and you got a huge group of people there. I mean, Cliff King is always going to be home, but when we play at Chrysler and it gets rocking in there, there's nothing like it. What will you remember most about being a student athlete here? The little things. I mean, the big wins and the things that I'll forever remember are the little moments that I have with my teammates and my coaches that I'll cherish forever. Game day around five o'clock, and I'm parking my car. Cut the engine, the blaring music falls silent. I take one deep breath in and out as I really take a sec to soak up and enjoy this blissful moment of calm silence. I get out of my car, I head towards Cliff Keen, and can't help but to get a good look at myself and the academic front windows on my right. <laughs> Finally, for what feels like the first time ever, as a fifth year senior, I am confidently walking by this building knowing that I've done all of my homework and am all caught up in all of my classes. It had been four years, but I finally figured it out. The secret sauce. 
<laughs> something that's like all about myself. I've never heard it before from anybody, not my coaches, not my academic advisor, not my parents, but I've cracked it. The secret? Go to class. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, Sarah. Thanks for all your hard work to get graduated. <laughs> I continue my approach to the back that I came to the great advisor the next day. I remember holding open the door for me. He smiles from ear to ear. Have you seen your night? He says. Uh, I nod and say thank you as I walk inside to find myself surrounded by my entire vet staff family. Uh, including Sean and Connor tucked, tucked in their little office. I do my round of hugs, standing halfway over to embrace every single one of them, ending with Jeff, the nine foot tall giant bear hug at the end. They could for sure have been the ones that broke me, but not yet. I can hear the music from inside the locker room clearly as I'm punching the door cup to get in. I pushed open the heavy door and was immediately greeted with an overload of different perfume smells. I turned and there's our team. Everyone at their locker is getting ready for the battle. We're about to win. Ellie's dancing. Katja's practicing her opera singing. <laughs> but this doesn't feel like the last time. I'm all geared up and I'm headed out to the gym. I catch Janet real quick in the midst of what must be a super chaotic night for her and give her a big hug. As I always do when I see her warm smile, she always brightens my day. Walking up the ramp, my eyes, I think Kelsey does, awkwardly connect. And then look away, but then reconnect. <laughs> Eventually leading to me teasing her about who she is, who knew I'd miss her with Ash's lap of all things. <laughs> I find Tony, quickly go over uh, Scott's report, talk about another video clip that he can pull up of somebody getting sniped <coughs> or eating it at practice. I'm so thankful that I've had some of these keep me laughing through it all. I see Mike over in the corner. He smiles and waves me over. I know whatever it is, it's going to be good. <laughs> he unzips his hoodie through a real t-shirt filled with rainbows and unicorns. I look closer and see that the puffy cloud letters surrounding the rainbow say, this is my killing shirt. <laughs> As he looks at me and says, go get him. <laughs> and one of my favorite quotes of all time came from that man, being comfortable is a slow death. Thank you for the life mantra. It's warm up, our first ever pass of the night, and Jerome is on my left, silently maintaining eye contact as we hold the staring contest. For no reason other than that we're just both idiots. <laughs> he wins, as he always does in our short bird competitions, but it's okay because Serving Pass does not have us. <laughs> the fight song's playing, the gym is rocking, and we're running out, high fiving Lisa. I wind up yet again in an attempt to get even a wince out of her as I five star Lisa's butt. <laughs> and think, I wonder if anyone else in the history of people has ever or will ever smack this butt the way that I have. <laughs> I will forever be proud to say that I am so close to Lisa Rose and I got to smack her butt. Thank you, Lisa. My family is here, sprinkled throughout the crowd, but they are always here and they have always been here throughout my entire athletic career from softball to ballet to basketball and now here for the last time. And what was it all for? Is it about this one game, this one win or loss? I see her, the little girl with curly brown hair, big blue eyes, big glasses, who has sat in the front row of all of her home games with her mom and her dad since I was a freshman. She's super shy, but ever since I can remember, I've always caught her staring at me. And now it's almost routine for me to find her in the crowd before every single home game, say hi to her and her parents. But I don't know if she's here for me or if she's just a big Michigan volleyball fan, but why not? She's all grown up now, seems like she's grown up even more since the last time I saw her. I can't remember her name, but I know that she's like about 12 years old. And four years ago, her feet couldn't touch the bleacher in front of her. I go over, say hi, and see a big poster behind her with my name in the middle of a bunch of homemade decorations sliding around it. And I ask her, but she doesn't answer, just grins and blushes as she cuts her head down. And her mom answers for her that she's spent all day working on it for me. I thank her and return my game. There's a minute left in warm ups, we're circling up around Mark who's gonna give us the replay of the game plan. All the oldies but goodies are out to play. Trust our preparation, 90% us, 10% them. <laughs> Most importantly, have fun. <coughs> and as always, the shaky, we have to serve first, receive second, to which the team supplies the correct answer. <laughs> Mark, I will forever think of you every time I win. Thank you. The game and the ceremony are over. The crowd has made its way to the vision floor, surrounding all of us seniors with praise and love. And as I look out at the sea of people, trying to locate my loved one, um, there's the girl right in front. Her and I lock eyes, and I see the tears streaming 
down her face. She runs up to me, wrapping her arms around my waist, squeezing as she cries harder. I get down on my knee and I hold her, hearing her snot all over my shoulder. <laughs> Genuinely, I'm surprised by how emotional she is. And her mom walks up to me, explaining that her name is Lucy and she's my biggest fan. She has loved watching me play volleyball and is so sad that she will never be able to watch me play volleyball ever again. That was it, I lost it. I immediately started crying as I tried to hold it together and be the strong role model that I'm supposed to be for her. She pulls back and asks, will I ever be able to see you again? And I laughed, <laughs> sorting some of my snot up and wiping away my mascara in tears to say, of course, I promise I'll see you again, I promise. Volleyball, this is the side of you that I'm so thankful for, the people, and the experiences I've had with all the beautiful people that have been introduced into my life through you. I can't put it into words how grateful I am for all the silly, stupid, the sad, and the sensational moments that I've had because of you, Volleyball. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the trials and tribulations that made me stronger, for making sure that I was never comfortable, must have been why I went by so fast. Thank you, go Volleyball.